So our website's shaping up nicely here, and in this video I'm going to go through how to um, add pages to your website. Now, a common question is what is the difference between pages and posts? And essentially the way I look at it is if it's going to be, and, and, and there are exceptions, if it's going to be something on here, the top nav bar, or even the secondary, I generally will make it a page. Um, if it's going to be part of the blog, then I make it part of the blog. So that's that's essentially that's how I make the decision. And you know, it doesn't mean that I haven't added blog posts to a nav bar. You can do that. I do it with the custom menus. It's great. So um, I wouldn't get too concerned about it, but that's sort of the breakdown for me. So adding a page, so you have posts here. We don't want to do that in this one. We're just going to add a page here. This is it. This is the uh, visual editor. Here's your title. Here's where you add all your... now. With this visual editor, watch out here, where you have it in HTML mode, you probably would prefer it in the visual mode, at least I do. You can choose a template, whether you want an archive or blog page, just go with the default. And uh, here's our SEO settings. This is so uh, we can have these pages uh, rank more easily in the search engines. It's called on-site SEO. I'll be going into that uh, into another video. And you can choose your default here. Default is our content sidebar, but you can mix it up for any uh, page. Um, custom body class, you can actually create uh, unique elements of any given page, such as change out to a different header by using custom body class. It's, it's somewhat of a more advanced thing. I'm not going to get into that, but uh, it's possible to do that. That's essentially your add page. Uh, visual editor, this is where uh, you do it. So I'll just uh, quickly add in uh, a sample page here and we'll pop. Uh, a point of note here, remember we in the, one of the first videos we changed the permalinks of the uh, URL. Well here, because I did a custom setup, now the URL is going to be uh, end with contact, okay? Um, if you want to change that, you can. You can change it just like this and hit OK. So you can make the URL anything you want. It doesn't have to be your title. Usually I shorten them rather than lengthen them. Uh, but this is a this is going to be our contact page and we'll deal with the forms later but we'll get that set up and we'll publish it. That's it. Now we aren't going to have this page show up here yet because we have to create custom menus. I thought I'd show you how to add a page before I do the video for custom menus. Once we have uh, a few pages and posts created then we can go and create our menus and then they'll show all the buttons will show up along here on our secondary navbar as well as in our widgets where we put our blog categories. That's how you add a page in WordPress. For more WordPress video tutorials, including full video courses on how to build uh, many types of websites, go to b2web.com.